This video is sponsored by Cricut. Stay looking 
looking out the window And how late do you plan on going nowhere Afraid of all the things you don't know There's so many reasons you should
So the next part of this vlog I'm going to be using the Cricut mug press and heat press but before we get into it I just wanted to give you a quick disclaimer just to say that all opinions are my own and I truly wouldn't work with a brand if I didn't believe in them. And if you've watched my channel for a while I'm sure you know that Cricut have been a huge part of my small business journey and I really do use their products on a daily basis. And I am super excited to be working with them again and I can't wait for you to see the things that I made using their products. So. Without further ado, enjoy this next part of the video. Hi guys, so in this part of the video I'm going to be using the Cricut heat press and then later the Cricut mug press to make some new projects. The first project I'll be working on will be some coasters and I've already made a design that I drew in Procreate and I'm just going to be cutting that onto some infusible ink sheets. I'll put a list of all the equipment and also materials I used in the description box so make sure you check that out. I'm now doing the very fun but also quite tedious task of just weeding away all the excess after my design's been cut. I then use Cricut's heat guide to find out the exact timings and temperature that I needed for the project I was working on. So I just put in square coasters and that I was using the Easy Press 2 with some infusible ink and it told me exactly the time and the temperature that I needed and obviously you can set it to Celsius or Fahrenheit depending where you're from. And it will give you a list of detailed instructions which is really helpful if you're a novice like me. And now I'm just prepping my coasters by attaching the design on with some heat resistant tape and using a bit of cardstock between the heat press and my design. So these are my finished designs and I was really happy with how they went for a first attempt. And now I'm going to make a matching mug using the brand new Cricut mug press. Again I'm using the same design that I used on the coasters but this time I'm making it a bit more simple just so I don't have to do too much weeding. So I went and took it into Photoshop and just tweaked it around and made it more of a bold, big pattern rather than small and intricate. I then brought my design into Design Space and I set it up using the pre-made template that Cricut have in there and it's pretty easy to do and then I just set it to cut on my Cricut.
And then I just attach my infusible ink design onto my mug. It's quite forgiving, you can sort of take it off a couple times, so if you get it wrong the first time it's fine if you want to take it off and try again, which I think I did a couple times. <laughs> Again, I made sure to secure the design down with some heat resistant tape. Then once you've got your design on your mug, you slot it into the mug press and press the lever down to lock it in place. It will then beep in 6 minutes time to say that it's done. I then waited around 25 to 30 minutes before I removed the design just so it wasn't hot still. And this is what it looked like in the end. I'm genuinely so happy with how this turned out and actually just found it really fun to play around with the mug press and more than anything I just had a lot of fun so thank you again Cricut for sponsoring this video and I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog. <laughs> over for this segment of the vlog because I know order packing isn't to everyone's taste but I did get a lot of people say that they'd watch hours of it on the last vlog so I've added quite a bit more in it this time around. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog thus far. Um, I'm sorry again it's kind of just an amalgamation of clips from the last few months um, I'm hoping to have a sort of more focused one next time around um, but hopefully the cricket segment was maybe a bit of something different and I was really happy to do that and to have sort of more of a focused segment in a vlog because I do feel like it does get a little bit samey I do a lot of the same tasks and it's kind of just the reality of my job I suppose I feel like I do just do a lot of the same tasks day to day and for me, I feel like watching it back and editing it, I think who would want to watch this because I've lived it and I've worked it and I don't find it that interesting. But I do understand to a degree because when I watch other people do similar tasks, I don't find it boring. So maybe it's just me because I'm watching myself work and it's not the same. But um, yeah, I do often worry that maybe, you know, some parts are a bit too samey. And I do have plans to vary this up a little bit and hopefully offer more sort of tutorials and educational content within my vlogs because I don't want it just to all be me unboxing things or me packing orders but it just ha so happens that seems to be the things that I do the most so it's quite difficult to document anything else um, especially since a lot of my design work I do in the evenings so it's hard to vlog stuff like that if I'm sat on the sofa drawing on my iPad it's really hard to get the camera out and vlog at that sort of time but even so I'm really hoping to change these vlogs a little bit and try and make them a little bit more different because even though I'm really proud of most of them 
there's still areas where I really want to improve and I want to make them better so any import or advice or things you'd like to see I'd love to know um, leave a comment let me know because I need all the help I can get really at this stage <laughs> anyway with that said I'm gonna leave you here and I hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog Thank you.